Today here at Brennan Machinery, we're going to take a look at the Razor Gauge XT Go-To Stop System. This system is made in the USA and can hook up with uh, our Scotchman cold saws. We can use it on our iron workers or it can be added to a bandsaw or other piece of equipment that you have in your shop currently. Uh, first thing we have when we quote these is we usually hear, wow, that's expensive. Uh, yes, it is expensive, but you really have to look at what your payback is. Uh, when you look at the amount of scrap that you might get off of your saw over a period of a year or just the operator time to set it up. I mean, I've been in shops where I've seen everything from vice grips with a piece of flat stock to uh, a homemade rail uh, that can be accurate or inaccurate. And sometimes an operator makes two or three cuts before he gets the part right. So we wanted to show you this and uh, like I said, not with sticker shock, but you look at it and then really take a look at uh, your, the way you're cutting today and see if uh, there is a savings here. I think you'll be surprised how quick this will pay itself back. Okay, the first screen you're going to come to is you're going to open up your razor gauge. So you open up your razor gauge. What's going to happen is your Android's going to connect to it and it's asking us to home it. So we'll say OK, so it's going to home, find its home position, and that will happen every time you open it up. And that brings us into the main screen. On the main screen, you have a couple of options. Uh, the first one is if you just want to cut a simple part and your part is 12 inches long, you can come in and just press 12 inches, tell it to go, and you can see where the current position is now 12 inches. Uh, if your next part was 5 and 5 sixteenths, you just punch in 5 and 5 sixteenths. You can see there's quick set keys uh, for fractions and the decimals are right underneath of them, depending on how your uh, prints are drawn. Another thing on the main screen is you can jump from inches to millimeters. Simply push that button and your screen changes immediately into millimeters. Everything works the same. Uh, the unload. Uh, that's a preset distance, so we just pushed unload, it moved back out of the way. We say OK, it's moved back into the position where we're going to make the cut, and you're ready to go. After the main screen, there's next screen on here, is we can go to our cut list screen. In here you can make a cut list by creating a new file. You come in here, enter a name of your file. Uh, we'll just call this test. We'll save it. Now in here, you can go through, enter your length, 8 inches, enter a quantity, 14, enter a name. Uh, this can be our material description, so we'll say uh, steel, enter a description, and we're going to call it a leg. Save that. We can just keep adding as many legs as we want in there. Once you've got all the lines for your program, Leave your edit mode and now you're ready to go and start to make your cut. You just pick your first line, the stop moves to the first position and every time you cut apart you push it and you'll see the remaining quantity drops as you make your cuts. Another nice feature about this is, is we can open a file. We can save these files and open them. So earlier today I made a cut list here. We just bring this up. This is in Gmail. Uh, so I made a cut list here called cut list for January 8th. So now the operator can open this up and he can download that list into the system. And then we can come in here and we can just grab that. We're just going to home one more time here. Get back into our cut list. Open file. Uh, there you can see the 10-8 uh, cut list that was saved. We just open that up, and there it is. So you can see it's got the uh, cut list on there. Description's 1018 flat stock. Material is half by four. And this was all done. This could be done by the foreman in the office, sent out to the operator. The operator comes in, selects his first part, and you'll see it just walks him right through this list as you cut your parts. And it moves to your next spot. Uh, the next screen we'll look at is uh, preset stops. In here, if you have whatever jobs you have, you can preset these uh, quick buttons to whatever you want. Unlimited number of buttons. Job number four is 12 and a half inches. It moves to 12 and a half. Uh, here we've named it Air Walker because you can use either numerical or characters. 
moves to that part. Uh, so you can use these uh, very easily for anything that you would use on a repeated uh, basis. Uh, you can add new items, you can select items, you can do whatever you want from here. Set up screen, this is where you would set up parameters. These come preset from the factory, but you can set your XL, D-cell, the speed that it moves, home offset. Earlier there I showed you the unload, there's where you would set your unload values. Um, so yeah, this is just really a setup screen. So the savings out of that and the errors that you'll eliminate from sending out a, an old piece of paper with a cut list or having your operator uh, scratch his head and stand there for half an hour figuring out his own cut list and what he's going to do, um, that can all be done the day before or week before or whatever on a file. Email it to here. Uh, once the operator knows where to go get that email, upload it. Uh, you can number it, name it by date, by job number, uh, whatever you want. Uh, the savings that you look at on all these features when you put it together, uh, they add up very, very fast. Uh, if you have any more questions or would like to see something more specific on this, give us a call at Brennan Machinery.